SNN. Headline News Update. Okay, this is Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn, giving you the mid-morning update. I posted a chart from CQG of the things that I look at, and as you can see, you got a lot of red and very little green. The only thing that's green is the things that you find out in the, coal, in the yard there, which is cattle and hogs. They're the only ones that are up. Everything is down sharply, sharply in cotton, cocoa, sugar, just about it. Well, co coffee's up just a little bit, but very little. And then silver is down quite a bit after being up substantially overnight. Gold also hit 18 20 and now it's dropped over $40 an ounce. And we've had the stocks down over 400 points now in the S&P, uh, in the Dow Jones, and then also in the S&P. Uh, today, uh, today is not, we're not going to have any guests. John Person was scheduled, but he is just absolutely swamped uh, with all this volatility, and he had to bow out. So we'll have him at another time. Tomorrow we will have Norm Winsky. On Wednesday we're going to have Jeff Huge. On Thursday we're going to have Tim Bost. And on Friday, hopefully, we're going to have Peter Lighty's, but that's going to be based on whether we have uh, volatility similar to what we're having now. Peter will have to bow out, but if it's relatively quiet, we hope to have Peter on Friday of uh, stock market cycles. Okay, the other thing that we want to talk about here, and I think it's uh, very, very important, is the fact that the market today did something that it hasn't done in a long time. We had incredibly bullish news coming in from China. They were cutting down on their uh, cutbacks of COVID and stuff and uh, the testing and everything in much of the major cities. And that was very, very bullish. We had the Hang Seng Index up about 5% out of Hong Kong and 6% out of China. This was incredibly bullish. And yet when we were open, we couldn't even get an uptick. I mean, it was amazing. The Dow Jones, the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the Russell, all of them couldn't even begin to get unchanged on the day. And they stayed that way all evening as China and Hong Kong continued to rally. And that was uh, very, very important because what's telling you, you have good news and bad action. And if anybody's ever read Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre, you know that that is not a good thing. So let's keep that in mind. We're going to have some fun here coming up on my show uh, the next few minutes. So stay tuned and we'll all have a great time. And we're going to pay a few bills now for TFNN. And then we'll get started in here in just a few minutes. Thanks for joining us today, folks. And we'll be right back.